Hi guys. In this video, we would show you how to configure related options to see the originator caller ID in the transfer scenario. For the transfer, there are blind transfer and attended transfer. At first, we use the following example to demonstrate. Caller 5503301 call inbound to PBX, extension agent 500 answers the call, and transfer the call to receipt agent 501. For blind transfer, you don't need to configure any settings. The receipt agent would see the originator's caller ID. For attended transfer, you could configure two settings to have two different behavior. Go to the menu settings general preferences. The first option is to configure the attended transfer caller ID as transferee. In this mode, the receipt agent would always see the originator's caller ID during the transfer process. You would know the disadvantage is that he could not see who transferred the call. So we introduce the second mode, on the same menu. Configure the attended transfer caller ID as auto. In this mode, at the transfer query stage, the receipt agent could see who is transferring the call to him. And after the call is transferred, the receipt agent could see the originator's caller ID. Well, don't forget one important step. It is that go to the menu settings general SIP, enter the advanced tab, and check the send remote party ID option. Okay, let's see how it goes in the practical test. Alright, guys. This is what we in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Get more details about troubleshooting. Check out our knowledge base. Get more information about system configuration, please visit our document center. I will see you guys in the next one.